the new updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Joe Bird. No severe weather threat for the rest of the evening across the tri-state, though I'm not going to rule out some rain might come on through as the front pushes its way in and maybe some thunder, but no severe weather is expected. The Storm Prediction Center has taken all of the threat out of the tri-state and just given us the general thunder shower chance for the rest of tonight and into the overnight hours, the slight risk or marginal risk rather, just down here to our south, just outside of the tri-state towards Bowling Green. That's a marginal risk right now. So. No threats for us. Now, a wind advisory will kick in here in about an hour and 45 minutes at midnight for all of the tri-state. It does include uh, Ohio County, which right now is under a flash flood. Watch now. The warning has been expired there. But the wind advisory kicks in at midnight, and it goes until noon tomorrow with gusts up to 45 miles per hour. But tomorrow, nonetheless, will still be a windy day even after that with winds around 20 miles per hour. So we're all dry, as you can see here. Nothing on live first warning Doppler radar except over here just outside Wayne County. That's a hefty rain shower, but don't see any lightning mixed in with that. But that is ahead of the front, which the thought was there would be a little redevelopment ahead of the front, but not anticipating anything severe. All the rain that came through earlier really calmed down our atmosphere. So that was uh, good news there. But you can see here all these showers, heavy in nature, again, developing ahead of the front, which will be pushing through later on tonight. Our American RV camera down in Owensboro, Smothers Park right now. Uh, you can actually see the steam there coming off the stack, still indicating a southerly wind right now because that's pushing the steam up to the north. So the airport should be telling us here in a second that we have a southerly wind, and in which we do. There it is, 11 miles per hour at 57 degrees at the Evansville Airport. Owens Bros, I told you, down in Smothers Park right now, 57, Calhoun, 58. Let's see how things are looking in Evansville right now on our MCF construction tower camera there with a 57 degree. You can see some clouds there in the background right now as we take a look there off the top of Deaconess Gateway. Southern Illinois, upper 50s. Harrisburg right now at 60, matching almost Tell City at 61 degrees. We're actually going to see some clearing here in the next couple of hours, broaden things out for you. You can see we have this clearing line here, this slot of dry air that's worked in behind the front, but still ahead of the area of low pressure, which you see uh, rotating counterclockwise there right now. That will actually move over us overnight tonight, so we will cloud things back up overnight and into tomorrow morning, but that will quickly work its way out of here. Future Tracker does have us cloudy with a few spotty showers uh, with that uh, ahead of that front, but it will clear things out for a little bit, but then cloud us right back up into tomorrow morning. But the good news is that system is going to quickly move out of here. So by tomorrow afternoon, we'll go to mostly sunny skies. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 40s. Might see a few 50s down in western Kentucky, but it will be feeling cool again with those winds blowing around 20 to 25 miles per hour. We stay clear for tomorrow night, but it will be a lot colder tomorrow night with lows down into the low to mid 20s, but the winds will not be as bad. They'll be calming down a little bit to around 10 to 15, but still pretty uh, windy for tomorrow night. And Monday's gonna feature a lot of sunshine, maybe a few high cirrus clouds working in here or there. A touch cooler on Monday, but not as windy. Our highs on Monday will be low to mid 40s and we'll kind of keep things clear for Monday evening as well. Monday night will be about the mid to upper 20s into your Tuesday morning, which right now Tuesday itself is looking good as well. A little bit cooler, but still not too bad for our Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies as we go throughout the afternoon, but the good news is we're going to keep things dry tomorrow, going to keep things dry Monday and on Tuesday as well. And we need that with the river. Some are cresting right now. The Ohio Evansville is still rising just a little bit right now, but it's only about another half a foot before it crests. Looks to be right now by about Wednesday into Thursday. So mostly cloudy overnight, very windy with a gust up to 40. Overnight lows will be upper 30s to around 40. Clouds in the morning giving way to sunshine by the afternoon, but it will be very windy. Highs are going to be topping out in the mid to upper 40s for tomorrow. So much different tomorrow than we had for today. Mid 40s there on Monday, and then Tuesday brings lower 50. Small rain chances Wednesday and Thursday. Slightly better rain chances Friday and Saturday, but even with those rain chances right now, total rainfall come Saturday doesn't even look to be about maybe half an inch, maybe close to an inch. So definitely not a lot of rain on the way, which we don't need that because the rivers and a lot of flooding going on 
at this time. So a much calmer weather pattern over the next seven days. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Joe.